Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorials we continue exploring Terrace and Thor and we'll look closer on the new atmospheres. So you'll, you'll notice right here we have our atmosphere top is enabled and we have it properties to actual option to add cloud, la cloud layers. So if we expanded this, you'll see we have it our, as usual before, global clouds that we can work with. We also have it um, presets for the high level, mid level and low level. And they actually have it already nice naming so we can very easy just enable one of them. The different is one also if we can localize. So example, if we go to the global dance, you'll notice right here we have our localizations for the clouds enable. As well, we have a cloud global cloud layer property set. So if we're going and enable example low level easy cloud, you can see we added new properties. It's a little bit different, but also localize is disabled, so you cannot. And if we look on all properties that we can access, it's slightly different. So it does make much easier and faster to set up for the easy clouds, but you have some limitations options, limited options that you can work with. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove those clouds. And let's look on a version three. So it's a little bit better render. And access, we can go inside, go to atmospheres, and right here we'll just select cloud layer version three. So this is a newer one. Okay, we can go also select atmosphere and a relinking set between atmospheres. So right here is our cloud layer. It looks similar to other ones, except the render as a process is to have a little bit more natural look. Okay, let's go look on the properties. You'll notice as well, we have our localizations enable and it's check in and disable, so we cannot switch this. We also have it some different class base altitude is, um, does not work. We cannot modify the settings. Okay, let's check and create some little bit local outside so we can preview a little bit better. And we can work with radius. So we'll just set 2500 radius. Let's move it maybe around 3500. So we'll move out. As well, we'll just increase cloud depth and let's bring it down to about 500. Okay. Um, in all time, when you render, it was a little bit harder to preview some volumetric materials. Um, it's very good options was added as a ray tracing preview. So you can see it's faster and it's given a little bit more natural and realist, um, real preview of the clouds. Again, we have a 250 and you know what, let's go to cloud depth 500 and we'll just as well add it. So right here is our cloud, maybe drop slightly lower. Okay, so right here you can see we have our cloud disable there our density fractal so we don't have it any shape and we have just basic settings for this as always just refresh and overview what we have it here it is edge sharpening so you can see we can bring all away and come to the edges overall density of the cloud and coverage area due to some the lead in we have it this smooth areas, not just a cylinder, but right here we have it almost all the area with cover. We also have it properties for the cloud color, so we can modify uh, if we need it. We can just adjust overall color. And um, in other versions, we have it um, ambient lighting, so it's going true. We don't have it in this one, so we'll look in a second. We also have it proper sliding for the sun glow in other amount and you know what let's let do this way let's go ahead we'll create a density one so we can compare like for example in the cloud you can see right here we have a scattering color and the new ones we don't so we have a color and again if we compare lighting with this with some properties is enabled so let's go do this we click on a color here and we'll go to global opening so in this case, we can easy to kind of compare some of those properties if we have it or not. So right here, you can notice we have it um, different properties for the li our lighting at all. Silver lighting on the edges, adjust 
glowing amount of the sun, similar to what we have before, multiple scattering, and right here we have it some scattering color before. So in this case, we have it a little bit more um, natural way for the scattering. So we have it our softness parameter C, how it's distributed. And we also have it the light received from environment. For example, if we have it, um, you want to create some pushback from sunset or other ones. The similar actually what we have before, but you can notice it's slightly different on some properties. Okay, as functions going to the same things, we'll go to the tweaks area, which is similar what we have before, as well as on a um, quality adjustment. With the exception that we don't have it anymore, the step optimizations. And we move to optimization area where we have it similar things as before. So it's not um, some options was removed due to the more natural rendering, but overall they're very similar in this case. Okay, let's go ahead and just remove our clouds from here. Okay, we'll go to the color and let's go just reset back to usual color. Okay, so when I work on the our clouds, I like to set up a full preview. Okay, so right here we can see it. And when work on later with the density, we actually can modify and see how the density will affect. Of course, some properties of the density will duplicate it like density cloud coverage will duplicate it inside the density fractal. So let's go ahead and connect to the density shader. And you notice right here when we connect it, it is showing how its connection is enabled. Notice it's already start changing shape. And the reason is because we have some noise applied to it, density and other ones. So overall, right here we have it our feature scale. And if you have it large clouds, Here's things that in many cases when, he, for example, when I like um, some specific shape kind of adjustment. So when I finish adjustment them, you need to remember that our feature scale, you want to increase if clouds go up. So right here we have it very nice small details, but cloud is located closer to the camera. So if we increase up, those details will start last. Um, we cannot see them because it will be way high. And if we want to preserve some of the shape, we want to increase feature scale. So kind of keep this in mind. Okay, important part of this is a tweak noise. And again, if you need to look more on this, we have other tutorials where we're going over some density of the cloud. So I don't want to repeat it, some of this. I will refer you to go check some of the tutorials. Okay, so right here, parent, we can different type of the um, noise. You notice we have run eye as well. Let's go where I reached on this case. Okay, this is different shape. We can also modify density and same or what I says we have coverage adjustment here and contrast. Contrast it will go between black and white. How um, fast changing. So if we want a little bit more smoother or rainy kind of clouds, we'll bring to the middle. Okay, and as well we can adjust coverage on both places. And you can see right here, we adjust our coverage. One place it's make smaller as well. If we bring back up and we can just take our coverage adjustment and bring down this area and two more. And you can see as well, we reduce some coverage. So in some case they will duplicate it. However, you notice how more um, effective was this cloud density versus coverage on the density inside our fractal. Okay, so this one will give it a little bit more kind of shape, interesting structure. So we'll go right there. Roughness will add smaller details and actually I want to reduce a little bit. Okay, this is work. Okay, it's scale. Um, lead in will give it smoother on the edges. So maybe want to pop up just like lead in. 
Okay, the one thing when you create single cloud, so it's look very nice and we can use a single. When you start working with the layers, remember this is will be dense layers going through all area. So example, if we go right here and for example, switch our radius, let's pop up to 50,000. Okay, we'll increase our layer. And let's bring the height a little bit up. So we'll do 5,000. Okay, you can see how we already have it a little bit more solid. And again, details, what it says about um, we need to go inside fractal. And when we bring up, we need to go inside the future scale and increase this as well. So we have a little bit more natural look. Okay, also let's take and move this cloud because we have 50,000 a bit more away from the camera. Okay, right here we can preview all of this. We move far away, so it's quite a bit large and very high. We still have some of those sharp edges, and this is really related to edge sharpness. So we'll need to go and smooth out some of those edges as well. Reduce maybe cloud density slightly and drop down coverage. So it'll make a little bit more um, semi-transparent. Okay, let's take actually density a bit more down. Okay, and in our clouds, we can pop up coverage adjustment higher. So we compensating for these adjustments previously. Okay, and again, a nice with render array trace preview. You can see real, almost real time with very nice how the clouds will look. Okay, so right here, let's pop up depth of the clouds. Okay, a little bit higher. With the depth, our light absorption become nice, so we can see um, some of those cloud depth and translucent on top. Of course, the edges, we will take edge sharpness and just drop this a little bit more. That will give it better transparency on the edges, so some light penetration through this. Okay, and when you think you um, like the shape of the clouds, you need adjustment to things that are um, important in realism. It is the textures and lighting, so two most important things. So we can go right there. We can go in a sun lighting example. Let's go take our sun, and uh, we can just readjust positioning for our sun. So let's go right there. Okay, so our position and let's drop just slightly down my elevation, maybe about 12 degrees, some right behind the cloud. So we have this nice sunset appearing and this way we can see translucency of the clouds nicer. So if you need it, we can go, uh, go back and increase some of the density of the cloud. So we'll have it a little bit more darker or opposite make it less um, dense so it start glowing through this okay so right here let's go back to our atmosphere clouds and that's what i said right here cloud density we can decrease cloud density which is make more translucent so we can see the lights through and you can see how clouds start glowing okay or we can pop up a little bit higher to tweak with the lighting we can go inside the lighting and work with the sun glow amount between as well the power. So it's a silver lining edges. For example, let's go right now, probably will be best to see. So we reduce two of those properties. Okay, so it's still kind of render, but you can notice the edges. Okay, and just total opposite will go bring this all the way up. And you can see how glowing right here already applied to those clouds depend on the density. Okay, as we work on the sunset, we'll just add a little bit more environmental lighting. Go okay, and take our glowing slightly down. Okay, we can bring clouds just a little bit more darker area. Okay, 
cloud altitude let's increase depth a little bit so it will bring them higher and as well because we're going to the lower level we want to bring a little bit above so let's bring the clouds slightly up and because we add all this darkness to our clouds we'll take overall density um, in a fractal let's take this contrast a little bit lower as well we'll take coverage and just a little bit reduce, reduce on the coverage and make a smaller on the edges as well a little bit on the density you know keeping rain we can see right here we have a very nice god rays start coming up from the sun behind a uh, nice layering coloring kind of going on the bottom more like sunset and we add some more depth to this of course the grain on the clouds is going um, will disappear as render progress but let's give you an idea of the how we start at least process to work on the cloud so you can customize preview overall shape work around and um, increasing overall after so this is more accurate the new type of the cloud layer version 3 which allowed a little bit more natural um, light rendering and a kind of scattering in the clouds thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please remember visit on the web is www.geekatplay.com